I'm Dr. Remolina. I'm a board certified physician specializing in pulmonary medicine, and my office is in uh, Linden, New Jersey. I would like to talk to you about pulmonary fibrosis. Pulmonary fibrosis is an entity, as physicians, we've been battling for years. And it's important to understand that there is multiple diseases that form the entity or idiopathic interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. Idiopathic interstitial pulmonary fibrosis can be classified as multiple diseases, including COP, cryptogenic organizing pneumonias, which is probably the most um, benign disease because it's treatable and responds well to medication. Um, DIP, or the squamative interstitial pneumonitis, UIP, which is the deadliest, and others. I'd like to talk to you about UIP. Once the diagnosis of UIP was given to a patient, it was basically a death sentence. Uh, it's a disease that had no treatment. It's a disease that uh, was very difficult to determine how it was going to progress, but it's a progressive disease. And the patient may go for a long time with his diffuse interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, UIP, until one day something happens, like an infection, a pneumonia, an accident, and they decompensate. And they rapidly decompensate and they die. The treatment of um, UIP before was corticosteroids and um, medications like chemotherapy. Um, but recently, there was a new drug that has been released in the United States. This drug has been used in multiple countries outside the United States. It's been in Japan and in Europe for a number of years. Recently, uh, the Food and Drug Administration has released pyrfenidone. Pyrfenidone is a medication that is now used for uh, interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, basically UIP. This medication uh, used to be obtained uh, through physicians that were doing uh, clinical trials. Uh, but now the clinical trials are over, the medication has been released, and physicians like myself, who have no time to do clinical trials, are uh, able to use this medication for our patients with diffuse interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. In our office, diffuse interstitial pulmonary fibrosis is diagnosed by doing multiple tests. One is CAT scan of the chest with high resolution that can give you a pretty much uh, idea of the type of pulmonary fibrosis that we're dealing with. Uh, the patients usually have six minute walks here. This is how we're following these patients and these patients also will undergo a biopsy. Usually an open lung biopsy to document UIP since it's a very, very serious diagnosis to give someone. Now with the availability of uh, pyrfenidone, we are able to treat these patients. Before, the treatment probably was worse than the disease. Of course, this medication has some side effects, mostly gastrointestinal side effects, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, pain. They can also uh, elevate your liver function test, and they can also cause photosensitivity, rashes, um, and it's important that these patients be followed closely. In our office, once we start the patient and the medication, we start at a lower dose. We start at a very low dose three times a day, and if the patient tolerates it well, we'll go to the next dose, uh, which is double the, the amount, but three times a day. And finally, and the, uh, the week after that, we can increase the dose to three tablets three times a day. We follow in our office baseline uh, liver function test, baseline liver function test, because it's important to make sure that if the liver function test become abnormal, it's important to stop the medication because of the side effects. The patient can develop a hepatitis type of picture. The patients uh, are followed here with a six minute walk, and it has been shown that this medication keeps the patient free, symptom free for a longer period of time. The patients that are put on this medication have to go through the testing uh, in my office, 
And not only that, they have to be approved by the insurance company because this is a very expensive medication. But it is important to understand that now there is a medication that we can use to treat patients with interstitial pulmonary fibrosis. If you are interested in learning more about interstitial pulmonary fibrosis and perfiridone, please call my office and we'll be more than glad to talk to you. Thank you for listening.